all cities above 200,001 are deprived of federal transit subsidy. Those are green jobs. So whether it's New York City about to lose 2,000 jobs, or Chicago or Philadelphia, we're losing green jobs. In these cities with the infrastructure down, we need new rail, we need new cars. Well, we can make the rail in America, sustain those workers, hire more workers to do that which makes us environmentally secure. That's the thing we can do. Our trade policy right now is, it can't be free if it's not fair. We can compete with any nation in the world. We cannot com compete with unfair trade policies. But our trade policies, we lost 8 million jobs the last two years. But 16 million that manufacturing jobs in 1999, now we have about 11 million. So fundamental to what you're saying is to have a in the trade policy. People here say, of all backgrounds, say they have high taxes, high cost of living, and the jobs just don't pay. What do you, what do you say to people in places like this in Long Island? Well, obviously there must be a fairer distribution of access to jobs mm -hmm. uh, and, and reconstruction. I mean, that's what I believe. And because we don't have a tax base, you do have higher uh, uh, taxes and fewer services. That's why you need an economic base. But what you don't have, which is usually that targeted support. I mean, West Virginia is a classic case. Uh, it would be almost too poor to exist as a state. But because of federal government investment, it's a sense so where the private sector is not working, private government partnership is important. Government-private partnership.